Six to 2,000 Iowans, 65 or older, are living with Alzheimer's, and its impact is expected to rise. That's according to the Alzheimer's Association. There is, however, a new blood test currently in clinical trials that helps with diagnosis, giving people hope. Local 5's Lara Bowen spoke with the Alzheimer's Association Iowa chapter to better understand what this could mean for you and your loved ones. Alzheimer's is a devastating disease that takes a toll on the people suffering from it as well as their families. Most people think of it as memory loss. You're lo losing your short term and even long term memory over time, uh, which is certainly the case. Uh, and it can affect your body in different ways, too, especially in the later stages. You can lose the ability to eat. Right now, the process of getting a diagnosis can take years. A new blood test, however, could significantly shrink that time frame. That's according to the Alzheimer's Association. Association Iowa Chapters Lauren Livingston. Getting a blood test to help diagnose reduces the time of diagnosis to an average of about a year versus right now the average time to get an official diagnosis is between six and seven years. And time is of the essence. While there's no cure for Alzheimer's, Livingston says there is treatment for earlier stages that slows down the disease's progression. However, a later diagnosis takes away that option. Plus, traditional tests aren't always easy to come by. A blood test can be more accessible. This blood test would make it so much easier for families who suspect that they or their loved one may have Alzheimer's disease to get tested. They wouldn't, especially in the rural areas of the state, there's not a lot of specialists or the PET scan and spinal tap options. Plus, Livingston says a blood test is also less invasive than the primary diagnostic tools currently available. It's a simple blood test, just like you would think for checking your cholesterol. Now, Livingston says with the test still being in clinical trials and not yet having FDA approval, the question of when and if the test will become available is still up in the air.